2022 KCSE Mathematics Paper 1, number 9. Uh, we are told a port L is 120 kilometers on a bearing of south 30 degrees to the west from Port K. A ship left Port K at 10.00 hours and sailed at the speed of at a speed of 40 km per hour along the bearing of from south 60 degrees to the east. Uh, using a scale drawing, determine the bearing of the ship from Port L at 1400 hours and you get four marks. So when you are doing a, when you are doing a scale drawing, you need to make a sketch that is going to guide you on uh, how to make the actual drawing so we can start by making uh, a compass there uh, so that's our node uh, so k is uh, so we say this is port k l is 120 bearing of 30 from south to uh, from south to west uh, we have uh, 30 30 degrees so this is this angle here is 30 so we say that is but uh, this is uh, we can say again this is uh, this is our air uh, the, sh the ship left uh, uh, the ship left uh, k at 10 so how many hours from 10 0, 0 to uh, to uh, that is uh, to 14 so 11 12 13 14 4 hours so it means uh, distance is equals to speed times time so we have 40 multiplied by 4, it had covered 160 kilometers on a bearing. So from south to east, uh, we are going to measure, so this is south to the east, then we are going to draw, uh, that is. Uh, now we go to, we come to scale, uh, let, uh, so let one centimeter represent 20 kilometers. So here we are going to draw 6 cm to L and here we are going to get 8 cm. So to get the compass, the, the bearing of L to where the ship is, this is a ship. Uh, so we draw a line here to join there. So that is where, so then we measure this angle. So that's a sketch. Now we make the actual drawing. What instrument do you need? You need a ruler, so you get a ruler. Uh, you also need uh, a protractor. Uh, so we first we start with the ruler, and we we draw uh, that is a horizontal line. Uh, from there, uh, bring a ruler here. I uh, can make it a bit shorter. Take your take your protractor. Can make a mark there where we are going to place uh, the protractor. Uh, put it there, make a mark at 90. Now these two, uh, those two points should help you get a vertical line. So we can now uh, come here and draw our, draw our, our vertical line, uh, roughly there. So we draw, that is our compass. Uh, from there, we need to get the L. So from south, we come here and uh, we, can, uh, we can put our compass here. We want to measure an angle of, of uh, from, that is, uh, we want to measure an angle of uh, I hope uh, there it is okay. Okay, so we use there. Uh, so if this angle here is 30, it means this angle here is 60. This angle is 60. So we can measure an angle of 60. From there, uh, we use that. So we come and say around 60, you get our angle there. Uh, from there, using a ruler, uh, we, we draw that line. Uh, let's, uh, so we draw that line. Uh, so that's roughly there and uh, we draw our line uh, 
so that's our line and we are saying our scale is one centimeter represent uh, 20 kilometers so we, me we, we, we measure around uh, we measure around uh, this is six uh, centimeters so that uh, that's where we have our 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 care this is uh, we are talking of uh, point L now we we get where to where the ship is from south to east so we again take our protractor and uh, we use our protractor to to draw the the angle so this is that so that uh, roughly where we will need our our protractor and uh, now we are measuring from here uh, this angle here we are told uh, that uh, from south to east this angle is 60 so we measure an angle of 60 I think it's, uh, it's already there uh, so we just make a mark there and uh, we again use your ruler uh, to be able to to draw that line uh, I'll put it roughly there and then we draw a line a line and that line is 8 centimeters so we can be able to get our uh, centimeter there uh, so what we need now again is uh, is uh, we, we get our we get we get our our we get our we get our compass at L so that we can be able to to do that I'm going to use this ruler uh, this line here to help me uh, draw a vertical line here so but you can uh, now you can uh, you can drop this line uh, you can drop this line maybe this is how you can do it you can uh, come here and if you if you if you set that line like that and then uh, so your ruler is there then you should be able to draw a line there we can use maybe a different color uh, to help us not mix uh, once you draw a line there then uh, you can be able now to use your protractor uh, and be able to draw uh, uh, use that point there and we will be able to draw uh, uh, to get a point there once you do you get that then you should be able to get another uh, a horizontal line uh, so you come and uh, get your ruler there uh, you, you come and use that point and get uh, hope you'll be able to get uh, a, bad, a good line there uh, let's, uh, let's use uh, our color now uh, we draw that from there you can again uh, make it easier you use the line that we had already plotted there uh, so you can come here and uh, I don't know whether that is going to help us uh, so you set your ruler there uh, make a line here and you can use that line to to draw a vertical line here uh, so we take our protractor there and we use that oh, we can use this line here and uh, be able to get our vertical line so that is where we have 90 uh, from there we can now take our ruler and uh, get our point get our line this is a point that we have drawn and uh, we use that point to draw uh, we can draw let's set it properly uh, we use that to to draw our compass uh, so that is our L uh, then from there we need to join now our 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 our, our our line from the where we have the ship 
and uh, we extend that uh, we need to do that line uh, then uh, we join uh, not like that that's where the ship is uh, so we now like uh, I think that's, uh, that's not good enough uh, so try another one uh, so we now have like that I think this is better now following so this is where we have the ship uh, so this is 8 centimeter uh, 6 centimeter uh, this angle here is 30 and this angle here is 60 so if you do it correctly then this is this is a bearing so you measure that angle when you measure that angle you find that it is uh, 0 83 degrees or you can say from north you measure 83 degrees to the east so that's a bearing if you do it correctly but and that is a procedure that you follow to do that and uh, you will be able to get uh, the four marks too. That's how you do that.